The sinking of the Titanic is one of the most famous maritime disasters in history, and over a century later, it still captures our imagination. The ill-fated ship went down on April 15, 1912, after hitting an iceberg in the North Atlantic, taking the lives of over 1,500 passengers and crew. Despite numerous attempts over the years, the Titanic has never been fully extracted from the ocean floor, and the question remains, why? The main reason that the Titanic has not been fully extracted from the ocean is the immense cost and technical challenges involved in such an operation. The Titanic is located at a depth of approximately 3,800 meters below the surface, which is far beyond the range of most underwater vehicles. To reach the wreck, specialized submersibles are required that can withstand the crushing pressures of the deep ocean and operate effectively in complete darkness. These submersibles are expensive to build, operate, and maintain, and they can only stay submerged for a limited amount of time before needing to resurface. Another major factor that has prevented the extraction of the Titanic is the risk of damage to the wreck. Over the years, the ship has been battered by strong currents, corrosion, and marine life, and it is in a delicate state of preservation. The process of extracting the Titanic from the ocean floor would involve moving and disturbing the wreckage, which could cause significant damage to the remains of the ship and the artifacts within it. There is also a risk of pollution from the release of oil and other chemicals that are still trapped inside the ship. There are also ethical considerations that come into play when discussing the extraction of the Titanic. Many people believe that the ship and the remains of those who perished should be left undisturbed as a memorial to the tragedy and a reminder of the dangers of the sea. There is also the concern that the extraction of the Titanic could encourage the looting of other shipwrecks and the destruction of underwater cultural heritage. Despite these challenges and concerns, there have been numerous efforts over the years to explore and document the Titanic. The first images of the wreckage were captured in 1985 by a team led by Robert Ballard, and subsequent expeditions have revealed more details about the ship and the circumstances of its sinking. In recent years, advances in technology have allowed for more detailed mapping and imaging of the wreck, providing a deeper understanding of this tragic event in history. In conclusion, the reasons for not extracting the Titanic from the ocean are many and complex. The cost, technical challenges, and risk of damage to the wreck are all significant barriers to such an operation. Furthermore, there are ethical considerations around the preservation of the ship and the remains of those who perished. Despite these obstacles, the exploration and study of the Titanic continue to fascinate and captivate us, providing a window into a moment in history that will never be forgotten. Thanks for watching.